Hi, I'm Briarly, and today I'm gonna to show you some easy ways to cut back on saturated fat. You might already know that you need to limit it to about 10% of your calories. That's because saturated fat raises your cholesterol and is bad for your heart. So if you're eating 2,000 calories a day, that's just 22 grams. Replacing a slice of cheese in your sandwich with avocado will save you about five grams of saturated fat. Plus, you'll get some healthy fats from the avocado. Whether you're cooking or baking, swapping out butter with canola or olive oil will save you about six grams of saturated fat per tablespoon. A good rule of thumb when choosing oils is to look for one that's liquid at room temperature. That means they're made of mostly healthy fats. Solid at room temperature, such as coconut oil, means that it's made of mostly saturated fats. Replacing a three ounce piece of cooked red meat with salmon will save you about three grams of saturated fat. Plus, salmon delivers heart healthy omega-3 fats. At Eating Well, we like to add a little fat to our salads. That's because it gives them some staying power and it also helps you absorb the nutrients in the vegetables. Choosing fat-free or low-fat dairy and mixing full-fat dairy is one of the easiest ways to cut back on saturated fat in your diet. Replacing whole milk with skim will save you about five grams of saturated fat and choosing low fat in place of full fat yogurt will save you about four and a half grams. Peanut butter and cream cheese are both yummy additions to go on top of a bagel or a piece of toast. But choosing peanut butter over cream cheese will save you about three grams of saturated fat. Don't forget that fats, whether they're saturated or unsaturated, deliver a lot of calories in a small amount. So even when you're choosing healthy ones, use them in moderation. For more healthy eating tips, come to eatingwell.com.